Here comes the Queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? First ever women's Hell in a Cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. She'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. One half of the Australian duo known as the Iconics. And from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. Billy Kay Byron wouldn't allow you to breathe the same air she does. Who said I want to hang out with her? It's not really an option, Saxton. Billy Kay exists in a whole world you know nothing about. A world of beauty, a world of danger. Yeah, how about a world of lies and deceit? Billy Kay and her best friend, Peyton Royce have taken WWE by storm. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. In control. Nasty attack to the neck. Oh my. Ooh. Wow, what a leg sweep. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, no. We know what this is. She has some reason to be concerned here. Though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh, and man. I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. She's looked off her game almost all night here, guys. And to be honest, I'm a little surprised. Oh, my God. Oh, and a knee. And another. Nailed it. Stump puller oh. leg snap. Well, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Oh, oh my goodness. It'll jam your leg in a bad way. Jam your leg in a bad way. Oh, my God. Oh, crushing the knee here. Wow, what a leg sweep. Boom, what impact. Not again. Wow. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand, right? She goes down hard. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. We'll see how long she can keep it up. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed.
Oh my god, so much damage inflicted. Showing some quickness there. Can she keep her down? Oh, what impact. Up and... Flapjack! Uh, going to the top, high risk. Look out! Look out! Charlotte with the spear! She's back in full control now. The Queen looking to finish things off. Here's the figure four. Up. To the figure eight. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. This one was over once she locked it in. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. Strategy fell into place with that victory. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere. Here comes the war goddess. Her entrance is just as unique as her offensive playbook. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember. I gotta say, Byron, Ember Moon's athleticism is nothing short of amazing, which is why I'm so fired up for this match. WWE Hall of Famer Booker T discovered Ember Moon, and when I asked uh, Booker what it was about Ember that attracted him to her, he said, she's good. <laughs> she has proven to be good. An NXT Women's Champion in the past, certainly a future Women's Champion on Raw or SmackDown Live. The Sheenom is for real. Elbow. There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Shot block. She misses big time there. That had to hurt. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah. Suplex. Charlotte has been the centerpiece of so many WWE milestones, but her match at Hell in a Cell 2016 was her biggest triumph ever. Now, Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks had so many epic encounters already. But their Raw Women's Championship match that night warranted a main event Hell in a Cell match. Oh, 
Drop kick! Oh, right in the back. Byron, that Hell in a Cell match was the first time women main evented the WWE pay-per-view. And both ladies... She goes for the cover. Charlotte gets the shoulder up. She's still in this one. Good golly, what a knee. Up and face first. Slapjack. Oh, oh, this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow dropped from above. When it comes to Ember Moon, one thing's for certain, guys. She made an instant impact, handily beating Billy Kay in her first ever match at NXT Takeover Brooklyn 2. Harsh impact. And Ember Moon, too quick. I'd have to agree with what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's debut. She made her presence felt on day one and never looked back, beating some pretty big names in the process. Yeah, anytime you can say oh. you defeated the likes of Shayna Baszler and Ruby Riot, you know you're legit. Charlotte is rolling here. Stump puller oh. leg snap. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Putting it all on the line. I see where she's going with this. She's thinking about it. Whoa! Charlotte Flair has so many high-profile victories in both WWE and NXT. Corey, how does a competitor manage to steal a win from the Queen? Well, Charlotte's just like her father in that this industry means everything. Rick and his daughter are both very emotional, and manipulating those emotions could be key to victory. She might... This might be it, guys. Charlotte is rolling now. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Corey, going back to those emotions, Charlotte isn't afraid to shed tears when she's truly moved. But I can see moments where she gets angry like Rick does, too. Yeah, cheap attacks or insults might make Charlotte so angry. Whoa, impressive. You could say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yes. Suplex. Charlotte is going up. Within five years of her first match at NXT, Charlotte has a list of big matches that would already qualify her as a Hall of Famer. And the list just keeps growing. She's licking her chops. She should stay where she is. Incoming. What a hurricanrana. She's got her where she wants her. Michael, Charlotte's big match resume is amazing. She won the... What's the queen got in mind now, Byron? How about natural selection? She's back in full control now. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. To the outside, where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Scoop slam! Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Unceremoniously deposited down. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Oh, and it's a reversal. The leg is... The main roster was introduced to Charlotte Flair as one of the members of Team PCB with Paige and Becky Lynch. On that very night, the women's revolution kicked off as two other NXT stars joined the main roster and turned the WWE women's division upside down. Oh, nasty impact. We'll see how long she can keep it up. I have to go back to Team PCB for a second. 
They had two rival factions with plenty of talent, Team Bad and Team Bella, but PCB won most of those battles. All three teams dissolved before long, and Paige founded a new faction since then. But Paige, Charlotte, and Becky may be the most talented women's trio ever. Dodges a bullet there. Boom! <laughs> a high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like Ember Moon is getting... Oh, it was a stunner. That was the best one I've ever seen. If that... She goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Way too early. Head scissors applied. And... Ooh, oh, look at this. What does Charlotte need to do now to remain a factor in this match? I think this match is starting to take it all out of her, guys. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now she's paying for it. So she's taking a little punishment here. No big deal. She's still in better shape than her opponent, I'd say. Oh, from the top! That's all she wrote, fellas. She goes for the cover. One, two, and the fight must go on. She's still in this one. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. This might be it! Oh, my! A Charlotte with the spear! That's it. That's what she needed. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Back in from the floor. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. Nope, reverses it. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. You know an Extreme Rules match is going to be dangerous going in, but I don't think anybody anticipated it being this dangerous. What a suplex. She is on fire. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Back suplex! Ooh. Very nice. And a test here for Charlotte. She has to formulate a plan quickly to get things going. This is not at all how she drew this thing up, guys. I'm not used to seeing this. Oh, man, she is rolling now. Charlotte with a nice reversal. There doesn't appear to be too much movement on the outside, guys. We might just be looking at the winner of this ladder match. In position for a power bomb, and that's not a good place to be, Cole. Looks like a power bomb coming up. There may be no escaping this one, Cole. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. And this is all part of Charlotte's strategy. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Oh my goodness! Beautiful technique. And it's Charlotte with the reversal. There's a reason why she's genetically superior. Oh, face, face first. first. 
Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Natural selection. Now it's time to capitalize. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Look at this. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. She's got her in her sights. Kick right to the midsection. And I think we know what's coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Natural selection. What a comeback. Incoming, the Queen gaining momentum. Charlotte is there! And there it is, boys. Jeez, I don't like Ember Moon's chances in this one. It was a setup. Natural selection. This one is over. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. And that's the match. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte wins here quite impressively. It's wins like that that makes this girl such a force to be reckoned with here in the WWE. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match. The Irish last kicker. And from Dublin, Ireland. Dating back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And, ugh. I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, crushing the knee here. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh. Stump puller oh. leg snap. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. When I think of these saddest betrayals in WWE history, Charlotte cutting down her father in front of the entire WWE Universe might be the most heartbreaking. That was just brutal. What are we gonna see here? Oh, Neck breaker! Oh. Byron, you mentioned that moment where Charlotte fired her father. It was harsh. But she brought up a good point. Back then, folks still called her Ric Flair's daughter. Well, Ric may have led her to success, but she's become a megastar without him. Now they've patched things up, and the world will soon know him as Charlotte Flair's dad instead. I'll talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, oh. this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Oh man, incredible impact! When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. 
Brett the Hitman. Hart was in a heated rivalry with a brash star on the rise named Stone Cold Steve Austin. This match started like no other submission match with the two superstars battling in the crowd and attempting to use ring steps as a weapon. Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13. The rivalry between the Hitman and Stone Cold was so intense that WWE had no choice but to appoint mixed martial arts champion Ken Shamrock as the special guest referee. The Hitman didn't waste any time focusing his assault on Austin's injured knee. Steve Austin was busted open, and in the ringside area, it looked like a tornado went through. Once locked in the sharpshooter, Austin refused to give up. Stone Cold passed out due to the excruciating pain, which was considered a submission, giving the Hitman the victory. If it's not the greatest match of all time, it's certainly in the discussion. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past, and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that bump. Look out, Charlotte with the spear. Here's her chance. We've seen this before. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as a submission match to be able to reverse the submission. Charlotte, big move coming. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, crushing the knee here. Charlotte is in a bad way here. I'm not sure if the queen can rebound. Nothing she can't fire back from, though. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. She looked great coming out of the gates, guys, but somewhere along the lines, she started to falter for some reason. Oh, my God. Oh, crushing the knee here. The Queen stepping through. Here's the figure four. Yeah, now she's got a bridge into the figure eight if she can do it. She's gonna put this one away, and there it is. Figure eight from the Queen. Is it enough to put Becky away? Jeez, I don't like Becky Lynch's chances in this one. Becky Lynch is credited as one of the superstars who ushered in the women's revolution. No match in WWE history showed where that movement was going, like the Looking for the exclamation point. She better do something fast. The women's triple threat match at WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas was one of the most anticipated matches on the card. Becky Lynch went on a tear in the months leading up to WrestleMania and would not be ignored as a top contender for the women's title. If you want to know just how anticipated the women's triple threat match was at WrestleMania 32, just look at the photo of the three women that went across AT&T Stadium. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte changed the game that night. Look out, there she goes. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brett Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalia, Becky Lynch, Charlotte. She's fair! That's it. That's what she needed. Jeez, I don't like Becky Lynch's chances in this one. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I Quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I Quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I Quit match by using a submission maneuver. For superstars who aren't proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win, but they need to perfect applying a submission move quickly. Come on, Corey, try and keep up. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah. Vertical suplex. Nice. The Queen stepping through. 
Here's the figure four. Yeah, now she's got to bridge into the figure eight if she can do it. She's going to put this one away. And there it is. To the figure eight. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. When Becky Lynch was growing up in Dublin, Ireland, she watched WWE on television with her older brother. Immediately, Becky became a devoted fan of future WWE Hall of Famers like Shawn Michaels, Ultimate Warrior, and Macho Man, Randy Savage. Ah, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. I'd like to expand on Michael's story about Becky Lynch growing up. Becky watched WWE during the Attitude Era as well. She loved Mick Foley and Lita. They influenced her to want to enter the ring. When Becky pursued her dream of W... Becky Lynch setting up for the... You can see the... Charlotte with the spear. This one is over. The Queen looking to finish things off. Here's the figure four. Uh, the WWE Universe. Figure eight from the Queen. That has got to be it. Remind me, how many times have we seen that tonight? I lost track. She wanted her opponent to tap, and she got it. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. I don't know too many people that wouldn't have tapped out to that. Talk about making your presence felt in a match. Wow, what a win.